Hello everybody. How are you all doing? Uh, at the moment uh, we're going into uh, Gibraltar. We're just uh, holding at the moment at uh, Oglop. As you can see here we have a fix here. Uh, just above uh, 4,000 feet, uh, so 5,000 actually. The transition uh, at Gibraltar is 6,000 according to the charts. We're going to uh, Ripro, which uh, I already had coded into the to the FMS. You see, going to Ripro, and what's unique about this approach is that uh, we're going to be doing uh, some sort of a, like a visual approach, which is going to be a right turn. But we'll discuss that a little bit later. At the moment, you see the holding at the moment. So just looking at the weather for today. And uh, at the moment, you see the winds are uh, 230 at 11 knots. But it was a little bit uh, about uh, 270. So there was about a tailwind of about 3 knots. Uh, just a crosswind of about 9. But at the moment, uh, it's gone to about 9 knots tailwind. So uh, not really much close to the uh, maximum amount. But uh, it's you know we'll be able to land with a bit of a tailwind today uh, 28 degrees uh, QNH is 1014 so uh, the weather still in terms of the clouds and stuff you know a few clouds now uh, 1000 well 13,000 feet actually so pretty good coming in uh, that's why we're gonna get pretty much like a pretty uh, pretty much like a visual approach but um, we're going to be doing a bit of a procedure approach first and then afterward breaking into the slight visual. We're making the final left turn here. We'll be going for the uh, runway 09 approach, which is going to be the Sierra Romeo Alpha approach, which is uh, the civil use uh, procedure approach. Before discussing the whole uh, Sierra Romeo Alpha approach, uh, the procedure approach. I'm just gonna give you a few notes. Uh, you know the runway is uh, 1,778 meters, uh, 5,823 feet, a very short runway. And uh, there is high terrain. Uh, at the moment, we're just gonna reduce speeds to about 180 knots. From uh, Odlov, we're gonna go to uh, Ridfa, uh, to Ripra. And uh, Ripper, we are going to go and descend to about 4,000 feet. So uh, we're going to be doing that. So uh, we're going to exit the hole, actually. So uh, let me see if we can exit hold. All right, I'm going to put head in. A moment. Oh, so let me see. I'm going to exit the hole. So since we're going to go to Ripper, we still have some time. Uh, you see Ripper is a little bit on the left, so I'm just gonna get head into Ripper. Actually, I can. What I could do is, I can uh, get a direct to Ripper at the moment. Alright, so we're gonna get direct to Ripper. I'm gonna get flaps one just to, uh, since we're below the uh, flap speed limits. So, and like I said, I'm gonna go down to four thousand feet. Uh, I think I'll use. VS uh, just to get a nice smooth descent. So just about uh, 600 feet should be alright. 600 feet per minute. We're directing to Repro. Yeah, there is high terrain on the left side of the runway. And uh, pretty much uh, the CD will be on the right. So when we're coming into land, we'll be seeing a bit of the CD with the harbor on the right side. We're, pre we're pretty much a harbor with all the boats and stuff. There are a lot of city buildings and stuff on the left side. Very, very windy on the arrival. So, uh, that's going to be very interesting uh, coming into land. So, for the approach which I'm going to go into, the uh, Sierra Romeo Alpha approach. We're going to be going left on a heading of 359 and uh, we're going to be tracking uh, the uh, Ripper so 6 nautical miles and that altitude we're going to be at 1520 feet 
at uh, the uh, six uh, nautical miles from uh, Ripra. So since we're here, so this is the runway over there. So pretty much what we could actually be doing right now, we can actually descend. Uh, let's actually, you know, we, we could actually do that right now if we want. Uh, we just put a steady descent, not anything too. Because we don't want to get in too high, so uh, put it about like 800 feet, I guess. Uh, so we, let's like say, once we reach 6 nautical miles out, then we want to pretty much be at the altitude where we're going to be descending to the final, to the, uh, making the right turn into um, the runway. At this point, I'm going to be slowing down the aircraft as well because we want to be coming in uh, pretty slow. We don't want to be getting in too fast. So we're just going to go down to about 170. And come back here. And now actually what I'm going to do now is going to get a heading since we pretty much want nothing miles. Like I said, the heading is going to be free, uh, free at 5 and 9. So let's get that, free 5 and 9. we go 359 so we want we're pretty much getting there and uh, once we get to about six nautical miles we're just gonna use repro just as a reference point and uh, we're gonna reduce speed like we said we want to be about 1500 so once we reach repro about six nautical miles out we want to be at about a thousand 500 so I'll put this to about 1005 there we go so we see the runway um, is over here and we should be going to be making a right turn so we're going to go down a bit Two some more and going to put second degrees of flaps and like I said I want to be coming in slow so here is the mountains that there is on uh, over here so you see yeah, you know, you don't want to be coming in too close to that, or even over here as well, has mountains as well. So we're going to go down to final, final, which is, um, if we go to the procedure performance, see the approach is 128, and we just about reaper at 4, 4.5. Alright, so we want to get down to our final speed, 1, 2, 6. And uh, we're going to get the gear down as well. And we're going to put medium since that's here. So as you see, we had just about 1,005 at uh, 5.3. So we still have a little bit to go. And we'll be getting into Gibraltar over here. So this is where we deactivate the... Now uh, we go to the visual approach section of the flight. So we're going to get flaps. And then for the approach, it's going to be pretty much a 3 degree... Uh, pretty much like a three degree, which is pretty much about a thousand, uh, about 800 feet descent. So I'm going to put, because it's a bit of a tailwind, uh, I'll still put flap five, flap full. And minimum. then, so we're going to stay there to about a minimum, which is at around 900 feet. Uh, once we're ready to turn on final. Alright, so we have final, we're just going to make sure speed brakes is on, um, everything is all checked. Okay, and we're ready to do the visual turn, which is going to be taking us into the airport. Uh, I'm pretty low at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, we're doing that final turn into the approach. The miss approach is going to be straight to 4,000 feet, which we're going to put 4,000 feet, and it's going to be on a heading of... 88 so we're gonna put that as well this is where having a co-pilot as well is gonna pretty much help so here's a runway right there and uh, it's a pretty pretty difficult approach doing uh you have to be pretty it's pretty much visual you know mixed with a lot of wind so as you see the tailwind component is here so we just make it continuously making our turn making sure that we have rudder as well and you see it's pretty windy and uh, we want to make sure that we all good. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Two hundred, a bit low. Um, one white, but now we made the turn, the final turn. We made the final turn. So now two whites, two red. 
There you go. 50. There you go. 30, 20. Retard, retard, and, retard, 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 and, retard. and there you go. All right. And uh, maximum brakes, as you see. And let's hope we come to a stop 80. So we're gonna put full brakes and remove the reverse thrust as well. Applying brakes. All right, so there we go, guys. So now we're gonna use the uh, tiller. That was pretty, pretty nice, actually. Nice. Yeah, so that was pretty difficult approach, I would say. And uh, coming into uh, Gibraltar. And now we just pretty much we're gonna get out of the runway turn and uh, get into the bay so yeah we're gonna put the flaps up pretty difficult approach i did say that we're only gonna have about 300 uh, meters uh, of runway left but uh that's why this run this this procedure is very difficult hope you guys enjoy that as i certainly had a very hard time doing it but it was really good fun still nevertheless so we're gonna go on still and uh, exit on the runway exit off the runway I see the city there looks pretty good Well, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you at the next one. Bye-bye. Uh,